Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Mark Cast. And hi, here's Falco from the Fifth Click. And this is Netrunner Team Mark Cast. This is 19th of April, private draft term and system crash. Wow. On the left, uh, we have uh, the, the Marcus. Fabulous. On the right, we have Marcus. Lewis. He will make a traffic mm. accident in every city. And on the right, Lewis, uh, yeah. use uh, yes, Uprising Star on the Netrunner. Meta. <laughs> Uprising star <laughs> <laughs> in Cologne, and uh, both are very very nice players. Yeah, and drafted with us, they won their first two games, have four points, and are matching now up. After Marcos won the corp game against Lewis, so he has now six points. Mm. We, uh, what will we see? You played against. I, don't know. Uh, I played like? against Marcos. I, I want to spoil too no, much. Okay. It's, it's. Uh, yeah, like Marcus, God damn it, Marcus! Like again, sometimes there's always this one player who just gets everything right, and you, you afterwards you think, oh, of course I should have drafted all those cards. <laughs> yeah, but on the other, I mean, you know, like, depending on where you sit on the table, you get com see completely different different cards. You Indeed. Know? Um, so, so you saw like one parasite, I think. Was no, it one parasite? Uh, I saw not a no parasite. No, 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 no only clone chips. And, and, and Lewis in his uh, runner deck house, so five, so you know, it's kind of like really uh, a bit of a drag, lo uh, lack of a draw. Okay, with an underworld contract, forged activation order, yeah. and something else on his hand. Uh, Lewis has a lot of ice on there. his hand, that's a nice start. Yeah, a lot of ice, and then uh, agenda. Agenda. Yes. Two installs and a credit. Yes, mm -hmm. it's turned for Marcus Run. Yeah, with run, the first action. Run, Marcus Run. And there's the Meromati. <laughs> oh man, those are doing just such a great job here in the draft. Were they in another draft pool? <laughs> oh yes, Nuru Katana. Yay! <laughs> with six credits, he could rest both eyes and he stopped uh, one run and destroyed the rest. Oh, nice. Wow. Access. Oh, so, oh ne nice. There's Ooh, a, the, the, the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I uh, think the biggest like sentry uh, that uh, gets runner on archives, or what do you mean? No, I mean the, what, what is carded. Ah, the rabbit hole. Oh, from the runner. I thought you yeah. uh, spoke about the R&D access card. The torch. So, so to explain, Marumati is a like very new. Just was released. Just a new uh, ice that gets stronger when it gets installed in front of HQ. Yeah. It's a strength four barrier right now. And uh, the, the Nurkatan, of course, the classic thing that just does a three net damage. Yeah, and there are some echo podcasting for money. Nice. Mm, yes. Drawing cards, multi access, RD. He has on his head Torch, a Barrier Breaker, the Forged Activation stays on his hand. A very nice setup by Marcos. Mm -hmm. And he remembers oh, uh, Lewis not yeah. to uh, let him look into his cards. Yeah, yeah. Although, I mean, Mark is so hungover right now, it's, it's a wonder that he can actually think straight. Yeah, and it, you can't be uh, crossed with him for a long time. He was an asset that day, and yeah, I had to uh, wake him up with calls, with uh, ringing the bell and asking else. <laughs> but he's such a nice guy. Oh, so nice! Forge activation order on that Mizuzano oh, no Mikoto wow. on the remote server. Cool snipe, cool snipe. <laughs> Would have that been rest? It would have uh, stayed for a long time, and yeah, yeah. good play for Marcos. So Susano Mikoto a card that you never see. It's like a very strong sentry Seven that strength. sends you to the archives. Yeah, yeah. and you have to uh, you have to encounter the first ice you uh, encounter after uh, you are redirected on archives. Okay. So it means if there's no ice, you have to access archives. And look at this, Marcus also bit with, with a rook play mm -hmm. here. So installing a rook and preparing for an assault. Of course, now it doesn't make any sense because it raises the rest cost of ice, and there is just one unrest ice here. So maybe now we will see an install on that ice. Perhaps. But so far, it doesn't make sense to run on that server anyway. E three dwarf drew just yet? No, it's a hard one. Oh, no, uh, HQ interface. Also, again, a nice card and underworld contacts. Mm. Not ready to set up for this. He needs two links. The uh, draft runner only has zero link. Mandatory yeah, draw. And also, I think his idea was the rabbit hole, which is really great to get a lot of link uh, going fast. But uh, of course, he discarded it through the net damage. Discarding the E3. Okay, and wow. the Shell Corporation gets a new remote. Why did? Why does it get its own remote? Uh, re remote. I don't uh, know. Lewis, I what's have, going on I here? I would have installed it on HQ. Maybe Lewis really wants him to run that ice. Perhaps that could be yes. <laughs> and he is an uh, Israel. Marcus obliges. Perfect. What is it? Huh? Oh, is, is that a checkpoint? I think it's a checkpoint, yes. 
It's a checkpoint. <laughs> it's a cold gate, um, strength 7, trace 5, uh, bad pub, why? because it's illicit. And if the run is successful, uh, the runner gets three uh, meat damage. Yeah, but it's a trace 7 uh, in order to do this. So it's it's very difficult to break this. It's very difficult to deal with yeah. this. <laughs> and the bad pub is, mm, I don't know, in draft. And the bad pub is a bit counter counterproductive and because there is a trace involved. So, you know, it makes a trace easier next time. And around. I would have played the uh, checkpoint on HQ. Play. Yeah. Or, or no, I, better not uh, else on R&D. Nori Katana and so checkpoint on R&D. And then I uh, upgrade the Shell Corporation yeah. on R&D. I t completely agree because the Shell Corporation is like a really great card that is good. Like you can stick in a server that's secure all anyway. Yeah. And again, I already t talked about it in a pick. Oh, wow, he just runs on this. Okay. He decides to just take the neat damage. Mm -hmm. no, oh, no, he, he plays the pace for the trace. Okay, but he uses a bad pup. That's an error. No, no, he, he does it again. He jacks out and does it ah, again. okay. Now he can use the bad pub. So now this trashing the short yeah. cooperation cost him like in, in, okay. uh, all of his money. Mm -hmm. I think he also made a mistake before that not installing the rook on that because that would have made Lewis not able to rest that thing. Indeed. And underworld context installed, not paying up yet because the link is not there. Um, so, um, as I said, like Shell Corporation, I think is a really great in draft because you get like one secure server. You mm -hmm. cannot make everything secure, but you often get one secure server and you can stick the uh, Shell Corporation in there and you can kind of predict if the runner will be able to get in the server. Yes, indeed, yeah. So, so you can kind of like often get it once or twice loaded with, co with tokens and, and get the money off when you think that the server, the runner might get in there. Okay. And, um, and it's basically what it does is basically like it, um, Kitty Jones for the corporation right. as an upgrade. Okay, Marcos has a uh, Garrot, um, Barrier Breaker from Shaper Core set, and Torch on his hand. The yeah. biggest breakers ever. Okay. He has some really, really sweet breakers. And there's a uh, rabbit hole you s <laughs> talked about. No, no, that's a HQ interface. No, uh, on his oh, hand. Oh, you mean he, was, he, drew, he drew one? Yeah. yeah, but he installed an HQ interface, so uh, we're gonna see some attack on HQ, maybe. Uh, Million is oh, not important anymore. Chameleon. Yeah, if he installed those three breakers, it will cost a lot, but it will help. Yeah. But so far, like the problem for for Marcus is money, mm. and the problem for Lewis is also money. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a waiting game. And Marcus. Oh, Lewis has a bit more. Oh, nice. So this we see. That, oh, man, how did he get multiple rabbit holes? Don't know. At least three. What? And has has he another one? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, he had three. Yeah. So he discarded mm -hmm. one, and then he he put two two more. So yes, now two link and all contacts will fire next round. Cloud breakers wouldn't cost uh, memories. Nice, Marcos. Respect to you. Really like the rabbit hole play here. Again, one of the core set cards that's not played these days. It just gives you link, but when you install one, you can get another and install it for. Yeah, deck thinning is uh, with page Piper now a thing. Rabbit hole did it in core set already. And the deck thing in, in draft is so potent because you have just 30 card decks. Yeah. Did you see a Levi in the draft set? Uh, no. Okay. I didn't see one either. Uh, Some cards would have been very strong, so they are left out. Uh, account siphon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice! Patch what? on checkpoint. Okay. D why on the checkpoint? It has now uh, 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 a rise subroutine, and it is a barrier or not? No, no, that's just two st additional strength. Okay, then I don't understand it. I would have played it on the Nur Katana or something else. Uh, that's really odd. Hmm? So what strength is it now? Nine. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, perhaps there's a new card we don't know about that gets you money for the strength of your eyes? Uh, I don't... <laughs> it's, it's a bit baffling, but... I guess this is going to be the scoring server. It could be, yes. Okay. Um, he has dropped two cards into archives. They have two oh. face down cards in archives. You know, there might be a chum in front of this. Oh, very nice. Chum in front of tracers is in draft. Very, very strong. Yeah. Good choice. Let's hope it is. <laughs> a successful <laughs> run with the three net and three meat damage. Mm -hmm. I installed it once at once. Let's hope so Marcus this is going runs. to be the scoring server. Oh, please, can we see another chum? I'm such a fan of chum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do an alternative art card for chum. Oh, definitely. That would what? What? Huh? what? What? Somebody squeaked. 
Oh, no. <laughs> no way they squeaked. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Marcus is just drawing cards. I think he's giving Louis the score here because he there is no way he can contest the server. He doesn't have enough money. Another uh, underworld context, so really great. I personally, I don't know how you feel about this, but personally, when I see at least three personal contacts, mm. uh, professional uh, underworld contacts, that's where I'm starting to thinking if this is going to be a viable strategy. Okay. Yeah, if it's uh, quick enough for you. Uh, it's now we see the score. That would be interesting what it is. Uh, okay. uh, oh, this is not cool. Uh, from What's the name of that card again? Oh, man. <laughs> it creates tags, right? You can yeah, like, click it's into it. action for a trace two uh, to get a tag on a runner. Um, five, three, and beyond. I don't know the name. Um, something uh, with servers? I will, I will be look, looking at this. Can you call, keep on commenting? I will look this up real quick. <laughs> okay, I will comment. Uh, Commentary doesn't stop if Christian is looking, so we see Marcos just a little bit baffled. He has now an echo, two credits a turn, but he has very expensive cards on his hand. Multi-access on RD, three breakers, yeah, one costing yeah. 91715. Four M you would be uh, spent already by installing those four breakers. If he gets it rolling, he can get in every server. But it's a big investment. And if Lewis uh, scores another agenda, it could be the end of the game because mm. Dwarf is only to six points. Yeah, so Marcus is re really struggling up here yeah. with uh, with getting economy. So the agenda here is restructured data pool. Ah, restructured data pool. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a trace two or not? Uh, it's a trace uh, two, yes. Okay. For a click. Yeah. I, I don't understand why Marcus uh, draws card. He could have taken money, 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 money and install the breaker, perhaps uh, the barrier breaker first and then run on HQ. He Maybe doesn't he's looking do for something specific. Okay. I don't know. It's crazy. He has a good hand. He has just to set up those breakers. Mm. In my opinion, with a bad pop. Nice. Mm. I mean, uh, Lewis has a pretty hefty scoring server here. Uh, Marcus really needs some pretty serious answers to, to contest that server. Of course, but uh, with his, those cards he, has, uh, he had drawn, he could have just run through the Neuro Katana and uh, get the three net damage or something else. I don't, Marcus does this a lot. Uh, our normal play also. He has one strategy and he doesn't uh, go deviate. Yeah, deviate. Uh, he just, um, last time he played his Quetzal against my Blue Sun, he searched the whole time for his David through his whole deck. And that's huh. not good. So, but Lewis just gets money. He doesn't have another agenda to score or doesn't want to score it. He uh, doesn't see the tempo lost by Marcos, I don't know. But in the moment he is in the stronger position because he only needs three points to win. So he just waits, I guess, until he draws another agenda here. Mm -hmm. He uh, installs and he secures his HQ and R&D a bit yeah. to make sure Marcos doesn't do some, some surprise runs. No, Marcos just gets money and he will install the first breaker. What will it be? I think... Th oh, okay. Well, there is a garrote. Yeah, for the R&D access. Uh, this is going to be expensive and uh, seriously, I'm going to break that... Are you going to break that checkpoint with a garrote? Ooh, checkpoint is a code gate. He can't break it with a garrote. Uh, checkpoint is a code gate? Yes, sir. <gasps> and we have uh, her. Okay, the Kaiser should be hosted on the ice to get the strength down, Marcos. It is a cold kid, crazy, crazy. But R and D interface and running on the R and D and seeing two cards. Okay, she Q. No, it doesn't trigger off R and D though. No. Oh, he cannot break it. Uh, he cannot trash it, right? I don't. It's a trash cost of two, I think. What? No, zero. Okay, it's an ammo. Zero. All right, gone. But no, now we no, no. cannot. <laughs> We cannot go to archives anymore. Yeah, and there are two face down cards in archives. <laughs> well, let's look up. And GQ is in draft also good. If you only pay five threes, it's like in um, the Gentiki ID. Yeah. Uh, install it once at once. Now Marcus ah. has to do something. Yeah, okay. And then he has zero credits. <laughs> two credits, I guess. Three credits from start of his turn, uh, one bad path, so four for the run. But there's a code gate with a trace uh. of seven. Ouch! Uh, this is not going to be good, and you have to, you have, you, you gotta be sh clear that there's going to probably some a marker, or a chum, or a sensei in front of it. A chum would be a so good play. You are right. Uh, okay, so we see a r another one on Andy. It's and, uh, ambush. Ooh. Yeah, it's it gets trashed. Back. And uh, and a marker. Nice. 
Another one. And another one. Oh, there is. <laughs> Ronan. <laughs> Lewis has all sorts of nasties in here. <laughs> Chintiki is alive and kicking. Oh, and another, another one. one. Nothing. Oh, so, so many agendas, but none of the uh, cards, none of these are agendas. And this is the score. This is the win for Lewis. It's not well a chum. Done. It's a marker above there. Lewis just flipped oh, okay. the card. Uh, but it's a good play again. You have uh, a seven, a nine strings, code gate with a trace, and, uh, and the run is a protein. Nice. Yeah, but uh, on the other hand, it's like uh, if if the runner has a code gate breaker, he can just break the um, the, the um, marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you could. Ah, cleaner scored uh, with a checkpoint would be a good idea. The f ah, face down cards are ice. He didn't use. Come on, oh, man, Lewis. Cleaner and checkpoint. That's a great combo right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great game we saw. Marcos yes. and Lewis uh, both won their cop uh, games. What's yes. uh, that's difficult in draft and yeah, yeah. nice thing to see. Yeah, I think like oh, in this set, uh, oh, we, we see the oh man, so everybody's excited about this yeah. card. This is uh, this little engine, and uh, yeah, uh, Lewis got one. Nice. I think Peter, Peter Pan also got one. Yeah, and you made money with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, um, yes. Cars will be released in the future. Um, what about to say? Um, so I think like um, runners in this in this uh, draft pack, this, this draft set are a bit in, uh, in stronger. Yeah. Uh, because they really nerfed uh, corpses in previous draft packs. The corpses were stronger, but now the the corps don't get really a lot of economy. They don't get a lot of end run. They don't get any good agendas. It was uh, heavier in the second uh, draft cycle. There was corp not too much, in my opinion. Yeah. Now it's in a balance where you can good corp decks like those two had, yeah. and uh, the runner has to do something because um, yeah. I think the breaker situation with the runners is a very nice thing they did. They are not that uh, God, your blade is gone, and so on. You have to go in another direction and play other code gate breakers like Sage. <laughs> yeah, and I think I feel um, the corporations and themselves they really have to work for the end run. They can't just you know create like a stupid end run ice. They have to kind of create like multi ice servers mm -hmm. that kind of will chum and marker and stuff like that yeah. that kind of do something. And of course there's tech punishment, but it's not straightforward. Like I win the game tech punishment, you kind of have to again work for this. Like traffic accident, getting the kill off with traffic accidents is ex difficult. Mm -hmm. So maybe thinking about other ways of how to punish the tags. You kind of have to be creative with the way you deal with the tags. Indeed, I have did a good job with their newest uh, draft set and let's hope for the future that they stay on this level and I love drafting with new cards as you do and we will do that again yes certainly and you sh if you want to draft cards yourself you should visit the Eurigo C tournament the three mats you see on the table right now is something you can win in this tournament the exclusive prizes never be sold again and never be won again just on this tournament mm. on the fourth night of this tournament we will have a draft with a resealed pack from this draft and uh, if you are from uh, outside Aachen, where it's happening, Germany, Aachen, you can come up and draft with us uh, the evening and play the next day the Origio tournament on the 24th of May. Yes, exactly. So I hope you will join us in, on this tournament and I hope you will join us in our next video where we look at the final round of this tournament and we always have been and will be hacking the, the planet. planet. Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Thank you for having me. Goodbye. Bye-bye.